Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Before we get into things today, make sure you hit that like button. It really does help me out and it's greatly appreciated. Now, of course, we are working on the V12 BMW 760 Ally here in front of me. And what are we doing today? We are going to be painting the brake calipers. So as you can see, the car is already up in the air. The wheels are off. It's on some axle stands. A quick look at the brake calipers themselves. They are looking a bit sorry for themselves. Now, believe it or not, I have already rebuilt these brake calipers. So they have all new pistons, seals, rubbers, all the rest of it. But today, you know, we're not gonna be doing that. We're just literally just gonna be painting them to make them look a little bit better. Now I don't anticipate that we're gonna be able to achieve a finish such as the ones on my BMW 1 Series here. These ones have obviously been done professionally. These have been powder coated. Today we are just going to be attempting to paint them by hand using one of these kits and you can get these pretty much anywhere. If you do want to get one of these, I'll link, leave a link in the description. Essentially, it just comes with the caliper paint. I have opted with silver, so it should be more of a OEM lock. You get some brake parts cleaner, and then you get a little brush here as well. I have opted to buy a few more parts as well, so I just have some rust converter here as well. If I come across any rust, I'll apply this. Just have a wire brush, that should come in handy. Some finer paint brushes, just to help us get into the uh, smaller areas a little bit easier. A couple more extra brushes as well. Then we have some new uh, bolts and locking wheel bolts for when the wheels go back on. Okay, so of course, before we begin painting the brake calipers, they do need to be prepped. So I think what I'm gonna do is give the calipers and the entire wheel arches a bit of a clean, and then I will attack the calipers themselves directly with a wire brush just to try and get rid of as much of the surface rust as possible. Then we can give them a final clean up and then begin painting. First things first then, let's give everything a good rinse off. The idea really is to try and get these as clean as possible because any bit of dirt or brake dust still left on the caliper is just going to affect the finish. Okay, so the calipers have now had a good rinse off. Now let's start attacking it with a wire brush. And to be honest, the front calipers really aren't too bad. It is the rear calipers that have quite a bit of flaking rust on them. Okay then, so after going over all of the calipers with the wire brush, this is how they are now looking. Believe it or not, they are actually pretty smooth now and they are pretty much ready for paint. So that is the front and this is how the rear calipers are looking. Now I have made a discovery. The reason that these rear calipers are so rusty compared to the fronts is, I'm guessing these are probably cast iron calipers and I'm guessing the fronts because they are two pot and um, you know they're they're not like standard uh, calipers I'm guessing they are actually aluminium that's why they look uh, in a bit better shape but yeah I think what I'm actually going to do is for the rear calipers and some sections on the front 
like these uh, like these securing clips and the uh, and the carriers themselves as you can see I'm guessing they are cast iron as well is I'm actually going to apply some rust converter to them now this should double up kind of as a primer I mean we don't really need primer for the paint it's already um, you know self priming but I think what I'm going to do is just to give us an extra layer of protection to stop this rust hopefully coming back through is just apply some of this to it and then we can obviously apply the top coat of paint then. I think that'll probably be the best idea. Before we start applying the rust converter with a little paintbrush, I'm just gonna give the calipers a last clean off with some brake cleaner. Just to try and help remove any last bit of brake dust. Okay, so now with our calipers nice and clean and dust free, we can start applying some of this rust converter. Now this stuff does go a hell of a long way. You know, I only have a tiny amount in here and this should be more than enough to do all four calipers. You know, just the bits that we need to rust convert. But yeah, let's just get cracking. Obviously we haven't got to be too careful about where we get this. It doesn't matter if it goes onto the other parts it's just not really gonna work, so to speak. I'm gonna try not to get any on the brake pads though. Again, not too important at this stage. It's more so when we are putting the actual silver paint on. So once this dries, as you can see, it kind of looks blue at the moment, but once this dries, it just basically goes black, so it just looks like a black primer, I guess you could say. But it dries pretty quickly, actually. It goes quite hard as well. There we are then. That's pretty much one of the front calipers done. Just got to go ahead and leave that to dry. When it comes to the rear calipers, obviously quite a bit more work we need to coat the entire caliper and the caliper carrier as well. But again, I haven't got to be too careful when it comes to this stuff. Just make sure everything that you can possibly get to is covered. And that is this rear caliper done as well. Went around the entire caliper and the caliper bracket right around the back. And I've also went ahead and done the other side as well. That's this rear caliper done. And of course, the front caliper as well. Now, what I've also done is kind of went a bit mad with the rust converter. I thought it'd be a good idea while I have it out, while I have everything, you know, the car up in the air, the wheels removed and everything, I may as well go ahead and tackle any of the little rust spots that I noticed. So we did have a couple of rust spots along here, one there, basically just along the, along this seam here. And then there was a couple of splatters of surface rust on there as well, just coated that. That's all nice and taken care of. And then on this side as well, this is this side is actually probably the worst, as you can see. That's all now nice and taken care of. Again, just some patches of rust along there. Just makes sense, you know, while I have everything ready, just to tackle this rust before it gets worse. Oh, and I also actually uh, coated the inside of the, it's not the brake, this is actually the hub but that gets really rusty and looks a bit of an eyesore. So, yeah, that is all done on all four hubs as well. Looks a bit better. So I guess all that's left to do now is wait for this rust converter to fully cure and then we can start painting these things.
Okay, so it is in fact a full 24 hours later now. I have let the rush converter properly cure and this is pretty tough on there now that has gone rock solid along here as well. Kind of dries a bit like a resin. It was very, very hard and very, very tough. So I'm, I'm glad that I have applied that. We have virtually no surface rust underneath here now. So I guess all that's left to do is start applying some paint to this thing. So I think it's going to require two coats. I don't think one's going to be enough to completely cover it. So I have, of course, the paint and a couple of paint brushes. I'll do the majority of the calipers and the brackets with this larger brush, but then the finer areas I'll get in with this craft paint brush. Now, I am not going to be masking any areas off. It's obviously up to you if you want to mask areas off, but I'm just going to try and be careful. I guess it's when you know, I guess it's pretty pretty much the same when it comes to regular uh, painting and decorating. Some people choose to mask off, some people don't. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to be as careful as possible. Obviously, we don't want to get paint on the brake pads if we get a little bit on the disc it's not the end of the world that'll just come off pretty much straight away anyway um, but yeah we want to try and not get uh, a load of paint on the disc it's the worst thing in the world and i see people painting calipers it's more so when people will sp are spraying them and then they end up spraying the pads as well it just looks a mess in my opinion but yeah just going to take our time i think we'll start at the back just so we're kind of not leaning over what we've already painted so i think i'll start at the back Try and get all the way around anywhere that is visible and then work our way slowly to the front. So this is the colour that we're working with. This is the silver. I think it should look quite nice, quite OEM and fresh. But let's make a start. I think this paint dries pretty quick, so you need to be, you know, fairly brisk when applying this. I think it's only water-based, so if you do get it on anything, it's uh, going to be pretty easy to wipe off. Yeah, you do want to try and get to the back of the calipers. It's the worst thing in the world when people only paint one half of the caliper, and then when you're underneath the car, you just see, like, one face that is completely unpainted and rusty obviously we're not going to be able to do you know sort of inside of the caliper too much you know where the uh, brake pads are i'm not too concerned with that anyway you don't want a bunch of paint in there like i said um, where the brake pads have got to move but um we do want it on all faces that you're going to be able to see when the you know when the wheel is uh, when the wheel is on the car okay so it's probably going to be pretty boring just watching me Sit here hand painting a caliper. So we'll crack on, get this done, and we'll see how we're looking after one coat. Yeah, so as we are coming to the end of the first coat on this front caliper, I've actually found it's, I've pretty much done 90% of this caliper with this smaller brush. Of course, it's gonna take longer, but I find it easier and I find you actually get better coverage. This is like a, a smoother brush compared to the cheap and nasty one that you get with it. It's just going to kind of, you know, make a, make a bit of a mess of things. So, of course, like I said, it takes longer, but you're going to get a better re end result and uh, means you can get into the smaller areas a bit easier. If I had to say how long I've been on this one caliper, I'd say about half an hour, possibly. Bear in mind, this is a big caliper, by the way. These discs are like 360 mil, 380 mil, something like that. I don't know, but they're big anyway. These are two pot calipers. So yeah, very, very big. I don't think the rear should take quite that long to paint. Obviously there the first coat is gonna take the longest as well because you are literally having to coat everything. Whereas on the second coat, 
you've already got the first coverage so you're only going over what you've already done you won't need to put as much on, on the second coat either pretty happy with how things are looking at the moment of course it is going to be a bit patchy once we apply that second coat should look pretty much complete looks so much better though doesn't it just with a, a lick of paint compared to the old rusty and crusty caliper much better so I guess with that front caliper done we should move on and do a rear one same process but like I said this one should take quite a bit less time because it is well it's probably less than half the size of the front so yeah let's crack on give this one a coat of paint as well okay so with one coat of paint on the rear caliper here's how we're looking much better in my opinion again still quite patchy but we do have at least one more coat to go on it is pretty awkward particularly to get to the back of the caliper as you can see all sides covered though yeah looking good as you can see I've done the exact same on this side as well this is the rear and this is the front so all four calipers need now at least one more coat but looking at the pot of paint we've actually hardly used any we've used maybe a quarter of a tin so yeah we've definitely got at least one more coat in us so this paint does go a long way if you're wondering I mean these are like I said very large calipers and I've managed to do four of them you know one coat so if you're wondering 250 millilitres should be more than enough to do all four calipers but I did say that I thought this was water-based. Just tried to wash it off my hands with water. It didn't come off. You needed to use some white spirit. So it is, in fact, oil-based. So it is going to take quite a few hours to dry. So I think what I'm going to do is actually leave it a full 24 hours, then come back and give these another coat of paint. Okay, so it is, in fact, 24 hours later now. The calipers... The first coat has completely dried, no tackiness at all. And we're ready for the next coat. So I'm going to apply one more coat, inspect the calipers, make sure there's no uh, patchiness going on still, because there is yeah, still quite a bit of patchiness coming through, I guess on the cast iron uh, parts, the parts that we uh, coated in that uh, rust converter. It's going to be a bit harder to cover, but yeah, we'll apply another coat. If it does need a third, we will apply a third, but we'll see how we're looking after a second. Okay then, so here we go. Two coats now done. On all four calipers. Looks so much better now. A lot less patchy. I'm actually pretty impressed with how these have came out. Yeah, these look so much better, don't they? Compared to how they were looking before. Oh, and you probably noticed as well that I did paint the inside of the hubs. I've got so much paint left over, I thought I would... Uh, just give that a bit of a spruce up, makes a change from the old rusty hubs that you see. Obviously I did apply the rust converter first, so yeah, they shouldn't be rusting anytime soon. Yeah, look how, look how much paint I have left. 
I still have over half a can of this tub left and it's yeah 250 milliliters so we have applied four calipers you know four pretty big calipers twice and we've done the inside of the hubs as well and we still have all that paint left so yeah pretty good stuff I'm now just going to wait another 24 hours and then they all should be completely dry and then we can reinstall the wheels and of course those new wheel bolts as well okay then so it has actually been a good couple of days now as you can see the car is wet that's because it has been raining so the calipers now should be fully dry and they should actually be ready to drive now you're supposed to wait um, I think another 24 hours before you uh, drive the car but obviously they've been drying for what a good couple of days now so the wheels are ready to go back on let's go ahead and do that now I can't wait okay then so it has actually been a good couple of days it has been raining here so the calipers themselves should now be fully dry all you need to do is install the wheels those new wheel bolts as well and we can drive the thing but yeah let's go ahead let's get the wheels on and see how we're looking so as you can see the wheels are now back on the car is back on the ground and i have just took the car for a bit of a drive just to get the rust off of the brake disc and take a look at how good these calipers now look behind these freshly refurbished wheels i'm not gonna lie these look so so good i'm very happy with the outcome of these you know just for some hand painted calipers look very very nice they look like brand new calipers really and a nice little addition with the new wheel bolts as well get rid of the old nasty rusted black ones here's the rear one Yeah, very pleased with how these have came out. And they should, uh, they should now be protected as well for, for years to come. Look at that. This car is really starting to come together now. Well, there we go then, another job done. And I think you guys can agree that the calipers look 10 times better now. Of course, they're never ever going to look as good as if you was to you know, fully strip them down, get them um, shot blasted and then get them powder coated like they were done on my BMW 1 series, but I think they look pretty much the exact same as a brand new set of calipers now. You know, the fact that when they come out um, from the factory, um, you know, they are uh, cast, uh, either cast aluminium or cast iron. So they do have, you know, um, the casting marks. So they can be a bit rough around the edges, but you know, that's just how they come. Um, you know, you could, pro you could probably spend all day trying to file the edges down and you know, trying to get a really, really smooth finish, but that's not really what I was going for. You know, like I said, I stuck with the silver because I did just want an OEM finish, and it means that now they are protected and they shouldn't, you know, be rusting anytime soon. So, yeah, guys, if you want to do your uh, brake calipers and you know, you want to do it on a budget, you know, relatively low cost, I think, like I said, that kit was either like 15 or 20 pounds. And then I bought a couple of extra brushes as well. That's one thing I would recommend. You know, I've done this job a few times in the past and this, this time has been the most successful and I think it was down to using that extra small brush. Yes, of course, it is going to take longer, but it means that you are going to be able to get into the hard to reach uh, places and you aren't going to have to mask up like you possibly would if you was to um, you know, use a much larger brush. Brush. So yeah, I'll also leave a link uh, down to some finer brushes uh, in the description as well. 
But um, yeah, I think that's everything. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video anyway. Please remember to give it a like, leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you have not already done so. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.